All right, totally not late with this video. <laughs> anime figures in 2022. So today we're gonna be going over all of my anime figures I have pre-ordered for this year so you guys can get you know a good understanding of what you can expect from the channel. Now keep in mind this list is not concrete, you know, cause figures can go up for pre-order, things can get delayed, I can end up canceling some stuff, you never know. Like for example, Barbara from Genshin Impact, from Kotobukiya, she's getting a figure. She went up for pre-order a couple of days ago and she's getting released in September. I added her to the list like last week, so. If I made this video earlier, then you wouldn't have known that. I was also considering talking about the figures that were showcased last month and or announced last month because there were a lot of figure events last month like Wonder Festival, Wonderful Hobby, Ami Ami Camp or whatever, the Kotobukiya collection. I, I don't know why there were so many events. They should have just put it all in Wonder Festival. But if you guys do want a video of me talking about that, let me know in the comments down below because I figured I would have added it into here, but I didn't want the video to be too long. So we're just going to be talking about my pre-orders. Okay, so for January, Totally still January, by the way. We got Texas from Arc Knights, 1-7 scale, and then we got Nadeshko from Uticam as well, 1-7 scale. Now, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you've probably already seen both of these figures. And yes, by the way, I do have an Instagram. You can follow me there. I usually post photos of the figures before the video even comes out. So, so that video is in the work. I'm, I'm working on like three videos right now. Although you've probably already seen the third one, which is of Fubuki, who I did pick up in February. She was the only figure I got out in February. And I'm surprised she actually released because this figure has been delayed for like, oh my God. I don't know how many times it's been delayed. I don't even remember the initial release date for this figure, but she was delayed well over a year, I know that. Kicking off March, we have Arknight's Amiya Celebration Time version complete figure. This was pretty cheap, it was under 40 bucks, so I was like 100% ordering it. I love Arknight's, I love Amiya. There's no like size scale, but I think she's a little bit smaller than a pop up parade. Next up, we have an FGO figure of Scotty, second ascension, 17 scale, made by Quest Q. This is my second Quest Q figure, I think, because my other one is my Ramila Scarlet figure from Toho. And next up, we have another FGO figure, this time by Good Smile Company of Saber Alter in her heroic spirit traveling outfit, 1-7 scale. Absolutely love this one. She's actually apparently already released and you can actually pick her up right now. Although by the time you watch this video, she might not be in stock anymore. But for a really good price of 13,000 yen, I really wish more figures were priced around here. I'm not gonna lie. She's a relatively simple figure though. I'm probably, if I do a video on her, she's probably gonna be just as quick as Fubikis, so. I always love it when you have a character that you typically only see wearing like armor and then you just throw them into casual clothing. This is perfect. She's got like a coffee cup in one hand and then the other she's got like a bag of groceries. Although I say a bag of groceries, but I think that's all just like junk food. Uh, next up is an Azerlane figure of Laffy, her white rabbit oath version 1-7 scale made by Furyu. Now, honestly, I wasn't gonna be ordering this figure. Not to say I don't like Laffy. I mean, she is my favorite starter out of the three. I didn't really see myself ordering this figure. First, it's like kind of expensive being at 24,000 yen and Laffy's not really a character I personally would collect for. But when I saw the figure, I was just like, that looks really nice. And it might make for a good video. So I ended up ordering it. I'm like 60% sure I might not go through with this. So I might try to save some money by canceling her. We'll, we'll have to see. Next up, we have a Figma of Usada Pekora from Hollow Life. Now you guys know me, I absolutely despise Figmas just cause I don't really like how the joints look. But this one with the promotional pictures, they pretty much sold me on it. Oh my God, I just absolutely love the photos for this. The colors are just fantastic with the carrots, it just pops out. She comes with a little nosagi, which is great. Uh, she even comes with a carrot RPG that is adorable. And this picture right here with the sunglasses, it sold me on it, I, I ended up ordering it. We have another FGO figure of Hoaxai, 1 7 scale made by Fat Company. I haven't ordered from Fat Company in a long while, 35,000 yen. She has been delayed once or twice by now, but I hate to say it for any Hoaxai fans out there, but I hope she gets delayed again because uh, I'm not ready to spend this money. <laughs> if I take a couple more sponsors this month, uh, you guys know why. That's it for March. First up for April, we got my first Madoka figure in a long time. We got Madoka in her fine kimono version, 1 7 scale made by Furyu. Super simplistic figure, but also super adorable. I absolutely love Madoka's art sale. So I did end up pre-ordering her. 
Next up, we have a figure from Any Game. I, I've never heard of them before, but they're making an Ark Knight Scotty figure, her Seaside Summer version. I mean, it's a decent price, 13,000 yen. Not too bad, not too bad. Next up is one of my most anticipated figures for this year. Actually, it was for last year, but they, they got delayed. Fate Extra, Nero and Tom Lomo Type Moon Racing Figures, 1-7 scales made by Plus One, or should I say Stronger, because I'm pretty sure Stronger is making these. This is the figure that my friend actually offered to purchase for me. So, you know, huge shout outs to him. This is gonna look super good on video. I cannot wait to get this in. And then last up for April, we have another Hollow Eye figure, this time of Inugami Korone. And apparently you can still pre-order her right now if you really need to. Although by the time you watch this video, that could be changed. She's gonna look pretty good next to my Fubiki. I need like a scale figure of all the Hollow Eye gamers. All right, so for May, this is one of my most anticipated figures. Also was supposed to come out last year, but got delayed again. Oh, FGO Okita Alter. Absolute Blade Endless Three Stage Version 17 Scale by Good Smile Company. This figure looks super sick. For 20,000 yen too, I'd say that's a pretty steal price for this thing. I was actually so sad when she got delayed. Uh, next up, we have another FGO figure, this time of Tomoe Gozen in her Heroic Spirit Traveling Outfit 17 Scale made by Max Factory. Not bad, I like the umbrella. I like the overall outfit, looks cute. And then last up for May, Azerlane fans are eating good, especially if you're a Sirius fan. Alters figure of Sirius Blue Waves and Clouds version, 22,000 yen. I don't think I need to say anything about this one. Uh, you guys already know what's good. All right, kicking off June, we have another Okita figure from FGO, this time of her Assassin Swimsuit version, 1-7 scale, made by Good Smile Company. A little bit more pricier than I would have liked. Like, this should have been priced at like 16,000 yen, but 20,000 yen, you know, it's all right. I don't know what it is with FGO and their swimsuits being mechanized. She even has a base that's similar to like a gunpla blaze. Next up, we have another Ark Knights figure, this time of Kaltzit. This is a noodle stopper one, and it was like below 15 bucks. So, you know, it was kind of like a steal. Why would you not get that? And next up, we got some pop-up parades of Madoka and Homura. You already know how to buy these. These look so good from the pictures. Under 30 bucks, like, come on. And then last up for June, this better not get delayed. Genshin Impact, Ningguan, Gold Leaf and Pearly Jade version, 1 7 scale. For 27,000 yen, this is made by Apex in collaboration with Mihoyo. Like, if it comes with all of these props and everything, which I'm going to assume it does, it's probably gonna be contender for like figure of the year. This looks amazing. I absolutely love Ningguan's design. She's an absolute boss. I pray that this doesn't get delayed. All right, kicking off July, we have another Ark Knights figure, this time of Neon, Unfettered Freedom version, 1 7 scale, by Annie Game as well. This one looks pretty nice. I do like how big the base is and all the props and everything. Personally, Personally, I would have loved a neon figure of her E2 because that just looks super badass and I love the outfit. So uh, Alter or Apex, if you want to get on that, you know, be sure to get on that. Oh, which by the way, a couple of days ago, I saw a picture of E2 Siege getting a figure. I swear to God, someone out there is just watching these videos and making my, my dream figures come true, right? They made Hoshiguma in her skin come true. Apland in her skin's getting a figure. So yeah, E2 Siege, I've been clamoring for that for a while now and they're finally doing it. Although it's by a manufacturer I've never heard of. But yeah, I would have loved to see if they actually incorporated the other two lions, specifically the one that has the paw on her head, cause that just looks adorable. We'll see how it looks when it's painted, but so far it looks pretty good just from the sculpt. Uh, and then last up for July, we have another pop-up parade uh, from Madoka, this time of Mami. Kicking off August, we have Arknight's Hoshiguma Wanderer Banner version 1-7 scale. I'm actually so sad because this was supposed to come out in March this month, but she got delayed till August, so. The katanas, the baggy pants, the oni mask, like the type top, everything just looks super good here. Oh my gosh, she's gonna look so good on video. I'm having like a massive erection just thinking about it. Uh, next up is Azerlane's Belfast, her iridescent Rosa version, 1-7 scale made by Alter. I don't have much to say. Just look at her. And then last up for August, we have FGO Berserker Musashi, her swimsuit variant, 1-7 scale. September, September, I think September is my worst month uh, for this year. First up in September, we have Genshin Impact's Barbara, 1-7 scale made by Kotobukiya. I wasn't actually gonna order her, but I was like, she's not that bad priced. Might as well take the plunge. I could do a video on her as well. I actually really like how simple, but like also like fully featured this figure seems to be. You know, with the musical notes and the nice grassy bass, like, good job, Kota Bakia. Next up, we have another Fate figure, this time of Mordred, her Clarent Blood Arthur version 1-7 scale made by Good Smile Company. This is eerily similar to Fat Company's design that came out like 2017, I think. I don't actually have a Mordred figure. I guess I do if you include the Type Moon Racing one with John, but like not a standalone Mordred figure. This is gonna be good to have. I feel like there's a lot of characters from Fate that I don't have a lot of figures of, like Sakura, don't own a lot of Sakura stuff. 
or Ren, for example. I need I need more figures of them. Next up, ooh, Genshin Impact's also getting another figure in September of Mona. Astral Reflection version, 1-7 scale, made by Wonderful Works. I've never heard of Wonderful Works before, so this figure is putting them on the map, especially when it's Genshin Impact, because that game is huge. Oh my god, she's actually priced cheaper than Barbara. I mean, it's like a 500 yen difference, but Mona's a pretty popular character, so they better like nail this one. She's pretty popular for one particularly big reason. Uh, next up, we have another FGO figure, this time of Saber Lily, her festival portrait version, 1-7 scale made by Katakawa. This is like slightly more expensive than I was hoping it to be. This should have been like 13,000 yen, if we're gonna be honest with you, but 17,000, mm, it's kind of pushing the envelope a little bit. Uh, not bad though. I do like how simple it is with the outfit and the balloons and the stone brick base. Next up, we have an Android of Sakura from Unicamp. Okay, yeah, I know. I ordered an Android. But this is the only Android on the list, by the way. So I think I did pretty good. I said to myself, it's Unicamp, I'll make an exception. And then last up for September, we have another Ark Knights figure, this time of Surtur. Her Magma version, 1-7 scale. This is made by Mythos. Not a bad price, 16,000 yen. Nice. Especially for how good this figure looks with the intricate base and everything, 16,000 yen, absolute steal. Super excited for this. October, I got nothing. October is my free month. Yes. That is if nothing gets delayed till October. November, kick off November, we have another Azulane figure, this time of Formidable, 1-7 scale, by Alter, 33,000 yen. It's just so expensive. Last for November, we have my first E-Stream figure that I've ordered, FGO, Divine Realm of the Round Table, Camelot Lion King version, 1-7 scale. <sighs> She's around 33,000 yen, so not E-Stream's most expensive. I'm thankful for that. I like the whole throne base concept. So we'll see if this is actually worth it in the end, but yeah. All right, kicking off December, we got another Genshin Impact figure. Yeah, Genshin Impact fans are eating good this year in terms of figures, although you don't get Ganyu. Ganyu comes out next year. We got Kaching Driving Thunder version, 1-7 scale made by Apex. But yeah, 17,000 yen, not a bad, very competitive price. Jesus Christ, I feel like the Chinese manufacturers, like Apex and Mythos are like bringing out really good quality figures for like really good prices. And then you got companies like Good Smile. Like, did you guys see the Tanjiro figure for like 700 bucks? I, I don't even remember the exact price, but I mean, the figure is kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie, but like, Jesus Christ. Next up for December, we have another Asylane figure, this time of Graph, Beachside Erd version, 23,000 yen by, by Alter. Not bad, not bad. Don't think I need to say anything about this one. Uh, next up for December, we have another Hull Life figure, this time of Hoshul Marine. I think I feel like this is like the first very intricate, like huge Hull Life figure that we're getting. Jesus Christ, Marine looks so good right here. Like the base with the anchor and everything. Oh my God. The lighting for these photos, by the way. Impeccable. I feel like the props are generally simple, so I could probably try to make a diorama set for this. I really wanted to go like hardcore on the video for her, but yeah, she looks pretty good. Very expensive though, 30,000 yen. You'd have to be a really big Hosho Mari fan to order this. I ended up ordering her because I was like, damn, this will make a good video, so. And then last up for December, we have Toho Hakurei Reimu Lost World 1 8th scale. <sighs> this figure was also supposed to come out last year in September, and then she got delayed till December, and then she got delayed till December again this year. Yeah, it's my first time seeing a figure get delayed by an entire year, just like right off the bat. Like I've seen figures get delayed multiple times to be over a year, but not like one time next year insane uh, i was super excited for this figure because she looks so good but yeah that's it for 2022 so hopefully none of these get delayed past 2022 to 2023 but we'll have to see Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, like i said before if you guys do want to see another video talking about figures that were showcased at last month's events let me know down below in the comments below because I, I do feel like i'm a little bit late for that but if you guys still want that video just you know let me know and i'll I'll get to work on that. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go edit the Ark Knights video. Peace. Huge thanks to my patrons, Seswads, Beast, Catwice, Ralku, Malhot, Tiso, Sexy, Hentia, Fritz, Ren, Baikin, Wandering Kitsune, ZZZ, and Skablaz.